getting real with Ashley Dawn and my special guest, Hannah. <laughs> so we were talking back and forth and we're like, I don't know what we should talk about. What should we talk about? And at first we were talking about, we were going to talk about working out and like how like you just get started and you consistently just do it every day and then, you know, you see results. But then we thought about goals because we both have goals and we have some of the same goals and then we have different goals. And it's so important, A, to have friends with goals and B, to encourage your friends with their goals. So what are some goals that you have, Anna, that maybe a friend has really encouraged you with or that it's just really helped you? I was probably with my like education, like getting my um, degree, like I wanna get my AA done. And the, like getting my AA has been a process. It's not been easy. I, yeah. I failed a few classes and you know, I'm getting there, I'm almost done. But I have to say like my biggest support system has definitely been like Carolina for me. Yeah. Like she's definitely been the one like encouraging me, telling me that she's proud of me and that I got this. And I think that's definitely been the biggest one for me. Yeah. And how has that made like the whole process different? Like knowing that she's cheering for you, knowing that she's rooting you on, knowing that she's in your corner and has your back. Well it makes the world of a difference. Like it makes me feel like like you say that someone's in my corner, I got this and I definitely really appreciate it and it's definitely motivated me to like try better in my classes to know that sometimes yeah. they're rooting for me and that I do have this and I will get You my do have this. Yeah, thank you. I appreciate that. You're welcome. And then yeah, she's definitely helped me to push me along, keep me going and well I'm so close. I only need four more classes now. Got it. AA. Bam. Yeah, she definitely has been awesome. And that's important because Honestly, some days you don't want to get out of bed no. and you're like, you know what, why am I even doing this? And then your friend messaged you and says, girl, you better get up out that bed. You got goals to chase. You got dreams to chase. And Carolina too has been such an encouragement to me to be like, girl, don't give up. Like last night she's sending me TikToks, you know, like put your finger on this. Okay. I'm cheering for you. I'm rooting for you. Aww. And it's, it's like a breath into your lungs when you're suffocating, when you're just like, <gasps> and that's like, yeah. I can breathe. And when you have somebody that A, loves you, like truly, truly loves you, and B, is there to encourage you, is there to ask, hey, how's your day? You had a bad day? Let me pray for you. Let me hold your hands. Yes. Let's go get ice cream That's together. That's the other thing. Like, like, like prayers. Like, yeah. Because so I don't have that. Like, I don't have a lot of people doing that. Yeah. So just having someone that's willing to pray for me. It makes it's all the difference in the world. And when you're ready to give up, it's that reminder, like, don't give up, don't give up. Yeah, but like, there. yeah, even working out, like working out is a goal. It's a mutual goal that we both have. And like to message each other and be like, hey, are you working out? Because I'm ready to go. Like I'm at your house, <laughs> you know, and just to be like, oh, I'm tired. Girl, get up. Yes. Put your put your little shorts on. Let's go. Even just for 30 minutes. You're right. So happy. But having a workout buddy to be like, you're not alone in this. I'm here. We're going to do this together. Like you said, you got this. It means so much. You know, I have different goals that, you know, I I look at and sometimes I think are too big. And Carolina's one of them. You know, Abby's another that'll be like, girl, don't, don't no. give up on yourself. Don't give up on those dreams. Like, yes, they're going to be hard, but you can achieve it if you continue to try. My mom is like my biggest encourager in the whole world. And she, you know, is always there. Now on the flip side of that, when you have people in your life that ignore you or, you know, text you when it's convenient for them yes. or really don't gas you up and don't, you know, hype you up and are saying, you got this, you got this, you got this. And they're just kind of like ignoring you. I don't have time in my life for that. I don't have energy or the space in my life for that. Like if you are not for me, then that means you're against me. And if you're against me, then you can't be in my corner. And I think the older that I get, the more that I realize how valuable a friend is that's going to ask you how your day is, that's going to pray with you, that's going to encourage you, that, you know, you don't have money, they're going to pick up the tab for you. They're going to come over with dinner. They're going to, you know, make you dessert. They're going to do little things so that you know that you're appreciated, so that you know that you're loved. Like, that makes all the difference in the world. And I think you get to a place in your life where you just start evaluating the people in your life and if they're you know sucking the energy from you or giving the energy to you yeah. and I can definitely say that in this season God has just been illuminating people that are 
life suckers and life drainers and that are constantly just pulling and pulling and pulling. Yeah, and taking and never giving and never encouraging, never appreciating, never going out of their way to do something special to say, hey, I'm on your team. Oh my gosh, yes. Like, I think of a cheerleading team, like a football yes. football team and a cheerleading team. They essentially not hire because, well, the NFL does. They hire cheerleaders to cheer for the team. Right. Could you imagine if a cheerleader was cheering for the opposing team? They'd be fired. Exactly. So if there are people in your life that are cheering for the opposing team, a.k.a. they're cheering to see you lose, they're cheering to see you not accomplish your dreams, you know, they're, they're going against you and they're like secretly jealous or envious or, or maybe they just don't like you and they're, you know, just pretending that they do. I don't know. I've had people in my life that were just like they wanted to get close to me to see what they could get out of me, but they really didn't care about me like at all. And that stinks. Like that's not something that I want. But just like that football team, if that cheerleader is cheering or chanting the other team's name, she's going to lose her job. Mm -hmm. Well, if there are people, yeah, she's getting replaced. Getting replaced. Thank you, next. If there are people in your life that are consistently discouraging you, that are consistently talking down to you, telling you you can't do it, or listing all the ways that it's not going to work out, replace them. Replace them. Take them out of your life because, honestly, life is too short to have people that are constantly taking, taking, taking. down. Yeah, and discouraging you and making you feel this big. You don't have time for that. You don't, you don't have energy for that. And you're worth so much more. Yes, you are worth so much. Talk about that, Hannah. Talk about how much people are worth. You are. Like, you are so much more than that. And I don't know. I've experienced that, too. And I, I've had a friend lately who I love her dearly and Morgan. Like, she's a great girl. But um, I don't really hear from her unless, like, there's something wrong or there's, like, some issue going on yeah. in her life and it always makes me sad because I've always felt like I've, I've tried my best to be there for her and be her cheerleading squad and I've never yeah. gotten that in return and that like they say unequally yoked relationships right where like one person believes in God and one person doesn't and yes that that matters you know but it's also unequal relationships in I'm giving 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 mm -hmm. giving and you're taking I'm always coming to your house I'm always buying you dinner I'm always cheering you up I'm always you know doing this or doing this and you're never doing nothing like that's not fair and so like you said you know when you're constantly doing something for somebody else and it's never reciprocated or even appreciated like I've had friends in my life that have literally taken it for granted that I was just always going to be there that I was always going to do stuff for them and then one day they wake up and I'm not there and I'm not doing stuff for them and they're like well where'd you go well let's see you disrespected me you didn't appreciate me you ignored me you treated me like garbage I'm not going to stick around no, it's not fair. I would not treat anyone like that, let alone, you know, and there's a grace period where I'll let you kind of get away with it for a little bit. But then I'm done. And when I'm done, I'm done. Like, I've had friends that, you know, 20, 30 years, well, not 30 because I'm only 34. I would have been four. But I've had friends for most of my life that I've literally said, listen, you're toxic. Yeah. Like, you're hurting my feelings. You're putting me down. You're constantly telling me that I can't achieve my goals. You're constantly, you know, just talking down to me or, or telling me I'm not pretty or telling me this or telling me that. Like, I don't have room for you in my life. You know, that motto, treat other people you want to be treated, I take that seriously. Yeah. I'm not going to... Yes, I'm not going to treat somebody a way that I don't want them to treat me. And vice versa, I don't want them treating me differently than they want to be treated. If you're going to dog me and walk all over me, I don't want to be in your company. Because guess what? If you're going to do it to me, you're going to do it to other people. And that's not what I'm about. So maybe evaluate the people in your life. Maybe see, one, do they have goals? Are they going anywhere? Are they going anywhere? And if they're not, maybe there's a reason they're not. And if they're not willing to have their own goals, they're probably not going to encourage you in yours. And they're probably not going to see the value in yours because if they don't have their own, well, what are they working towards? Nothing. Evaluate your friendships. Evaluate the people in your corner. Right? If I had a business and I was hiring people to represent my business, I would not want to hire people that were unkind, 
or rude or didn't support my business. They wouldn't last. No, they wouldn't last. And so you have to look at that. Like the people in your circle, Hannah, you represent me because you're my friend. So wherever you go, people are going to be like, oh, that's Ashley Dawn's friend and vice versa. Wherever I go, they're going to be like, oh, that's Hannah's friend. Well, if I'm, you know, treating waitresses bad and I'm, you know, littering or throwing stuff on the ground, they're going to be like, wow, Hannah really doesn't have good friends. Ashley Dawn really doesn't have good friends. Like, wow. Same thing with a business. You're not going to hire people that aren't for your business, that don't want to see your business grow, that don't want to see your business prosper. How much more important is your life than a business? Your life is what you live every single day. And if somebody's getting up in your head, talking down to you, putting you down, like, I don't know about you, but I would let them know real quick, like, that's not going to fly. Like, the plane is leaving the concourse, and you're not going to be on it. No, you're not going to make it. No. You're treating people like I that. don't want to be treated like that. And I don't want people that I love to be treated like that, right? Like, if you're in my life, you're going to be around my mom. You're going to be around one day my husband, my kids. If you're a nasty person, I don't want you around my husband. I don't want you around my kids. I don't want you to influence the people in my life. And I don't want to be known, that's the girl with the nasty friends. Mm -hmm. And I don't want, you know, somebody to tell you, man, that Ashley Dawn, she's, she's kind of nasty. Like, she's kind of mean and cruel. And, ooh, why would you be friends with her, Hannah? Like, no, the people in your circle represent you. And I'm not saying they got to be perfect. But they got to be kind. Yes. They have to be, be loving. Supportive. Yes. They, they have be to be your cheerleader. They have to have your back. Are you going to marry somebody that doesn't have your back? I surely hope not. What's the difference? Are the person you're dating, do they do they cheer for you? Do they have your back? Are they your biggest encourager? If they're not, you probably shouldn't be dating them. If they never ask you how your day is, if they never ask you what your dreams are, if they never offer to help you accomplish those dreams, you probably shouldn't be dating them because they probably really don't care. A person invests where they want to. A person cares, like I love food. So we're on our way to go get some yummy food. Now, if I didn't like food, we'd just go to a drive-thru somewhere. But we're not going to no drive-thru. So because I like food, I'm willing to spend my hard-earned money on that food. If somebody truly cares about you, they will go out of their way to support you. They will go out of their way to buy your t-shirt, to, to have your, you know, poster, to, to get whatever it is to show you that they appreciate you, to show you that they love you, especially if they're in a relationship with you. So if you have people in your corner that are not your biggest fans, you might need to evaluate who's in your corner and you might need to kick some people out. And that may sound harsh, but you know what's harsh? having negative Nancy's and negative Ned's stealing your life, stealing your joy, constantly putting your, your fire out. You're trying to get a fire going and they keep squashing it and they keep putting it out. You don't need that. You don't, life is too stinking short. And if there are people in your life that don't appreciate you, move from around them. There are people that will. Not everybody is for you, but not everybody is against you either. So I hope this encouraged you. It's a little short one, but me and Hannah love you. More I importantly, do. God loves you. He doesn't want you to be a doormat for somebody. He doesn't want you to be dogged and put down and made to feel like you're not special because you are special. You are seen, you are celebrated, and you are loved. And if the people in your life don't make you feel that way, replace them. them. Replace them. Let them know that they are not allowed to treat you like that any longer and find other people that treat you better. Okay. May sound harsh, but your life matters. I hope this encouraged you. We love you. We do love you and you are special. And if you need people in your life that will encourage you, me and Hannah will. We got you. We'll catch you in our next one. Say bye, Hannah. Bye. <laughs>